Hi guys, I am here today with Agneta Hönnell, yeah. Professor of Nutrition at Umeå University. Yeah. And we are going to be talking about your research. Yeah. And mm -hmm. maybe a little bit of your inspirations. We'll see what we'll, what we'll get. <laughs> we'll see what we'll get. <laughs> All right. This question came to my uh, school. Uh, they wanted someone to... Uh, they asked if, if someone could... Uh, make uh, calculations on a weaning diet for children in Vietnam. Okay. Yeah. And I was the o one thing then was that I was the only one not very busy with my thesis. Yes. I had You'd done. already done it. And the second part was that my father and my mother, they were going to Vietnam to work for a year. N the, the coming so it year. almost like it was yeah. so a sign so almost. Yes. So I thought, well, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. So then I did this calculation, and uh, so how that you know how to prepare a diet yeah, that is yeah. nutritional. Is, yeah. So I, I was told yes. So they they told me like well these are the kind of foods, food stuff they can have. Yeah. And uh, so I checked the nutritional content of them, and then I calculated well, how much of this and that would they need to get a good meal. Yeah. Yeah. So I calculated like. And this isn't children that it's yeah, like... Well, we weaning means that you're uh, getting off getting off the breast, breast and on yeah. solid foods. Yeah. So one year olds. Yeah. Starting well, starting like around well, the f during well, six to 18 months. Okay. That's kind yeah. of age range. Yeah. So I calculated, I think I did like 20 or 30 different varieties of uh, meals yeah. for these kids. Uh, and sort of calculate exactly how much of this and that would they get because there were cer yeah. certain nutrients that were important. But what is a healthy diet then? Well, the, the one we you often say is that, uh, or rather the one that is, have the most uh, evidence, the strongest evidence based, is eating a lot of fruit and vegetables, uh, avoiding um, white flour, white sh um, sugar, yep. decreasing that, yeah. and uh, eating small amounts of meat, uh, mm. eating pulses, uh, yeah. beans and yeah. nuts and stuff like that. Um, so it, I mean the evidence for, for what a good diet is has, in, uh, it's, be, it's in, been improving because studying what people eat, it's a very tricky thing to study. Because when you ask people to take part of a, um, a study where you will, they will have to tell you what they have eaten, either by sort of telling you, well, the last 24 hours I ate this, that and that, blah, blah, or by recording so they weigh everything and so. Uh, quite a lot of people, they take the chance to, well, I mean, this did, now I can finally show, uh, take the opportunity to eat healthier <laughs> <laughs> or that you have a p so then if you look if you're studying um, which diet is connected to what health effects and people don't actually eat what they usually eat you have a problem and it wouldn't be a problem if you sort of disremembered equally yeah everything all different kinds of foods but the thing is that you often report more of fruit and vegetables yeah. and less of uh, what we in Swedish call utrymmesmat, the yes. food, you, the, the, the fillers, the fillers. Yes. And 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 if you eat a, a good diet, I mean, it's not as if you can't ever eat sweeties or, or I mean, you can always you can eat anything. Yeah. But you need to do it in sort of you can't moderations. You, yeah, you can't eat everything uh, in huge amounts every day. Mm. Is there like a stigma? Uh, about food, you think that is giving this misrepresentation in studies? I, I think like, it is. Is there reasons why we are oh, forgetting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it because that we are trying reasons. to be good pupils or good study? Yeah, I mean, most people. Oh, sometimes you hear that you say that, well, people know what they should eat, and I'm not so sure always. No, no, because it's sometimes it's it's. Uh, I uh, once chatted to, uh, well, f uh, the parents of some friends we had, and and uh, they were saying that well they had, she had just realized that there were actually 
calories in sweeties, you know, these loose weights you, yeah, you, you yeah. can. So she th said, well, I thought it was only like color. <laughs> and and uh, I, I was like, okay, completely gobsmacked. I wasn't, I, I didn't know really what to say. So, yeah, <laughs> there is, sort of. Yeah. And, and uh, yeah. I mean, it, people need to, I mean, they, I mean, I, I don't really mind what people eat. It's up to them. It's not as it's the recommendations no. is a law. No. I think it's, you can, uh, and, and, and it's not just the, I mean, the, the importance of meals. And I mean, the importance of, of what you're eating. It's not that, as that you're, uh, it's, it's so much more than nutrients, yeah. what you're eating. And it doesn't, I mean, if you have a healthy meal in front of you, but you, you're sitting down with people you don't like, or that the atmosphere, uh, or that you have sit in a very noisy place, or something that's uh, it's not comfortable, or, or it's mm -hmm. it's not very it's very stressful, or something like that. You don't eat as well, and I'm not sure even that you take up the nutrients as well, because yeah. I mean it makes a difference the meal situation. Yeah, and I think it's it's I think maybe in the beginning of dietetic study it was much more about the nutrients. Now we see well nutrients are also important, yeah. but all these other things are also. So you can't, you have to have it both. Yeah. This yeah. type of research have a tremendous impact on society. Yeah. I mean, to ensure a healthy population, yeah. you need to study nutrition. Why is it that it is not receiving, do you think that it's not receiving the... I'm not sure, I think it's it's... I think it's in one way undervalued. It's, uh, I mean, I've, I've been the last, well, quite a few years now, I've been looking at uh, public meals. Yeah. We started with school meals and then I've been, uh, we just started here with, with looking at uh, organization around hospital meals. Yeah. And we are also, also trying, it's now starting to look into the elder care and so on. Mm. And, uh, both in school and in hospitals and elder care, it's this. It's said, it's stated that the food is very important, yeah, and it's an important part of. Well, in schools, uh, I mean, in hospital, they say that well, uh, food is medicine, yeah, yeah, but it's. Uh, the, I think in in both these arenas, it's the one of the problem is that. Uh, it's one organization that deals with the food, yeah, making it, yeah. delivering it, delivering it yeah. to the ward, and then and then it's the ward staff that take over and actually give the patients the food. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 So so the serving and everything. Yeah. And in schools, you have the school meal organization who sort of make the food and serve it. Yeah. And then you have the school. Uh, the head of school is actually responsible for the timing. Yeah. The, the, yeah. The, the, the the setting, the setting, the dining hall, and everything, and I think in both these places, the food is often very good. I think. I think it's also. I think in Sweden sometimes we we sort of we are in one way proud of our school meals. Yeah. But at the same time, it's not valued. Yeah. It's it's often you say well our school meals. That's oh, no school meals. Yeah. I remember what it was like when yeah, I yeah, it's like uh, yeah. soup, soup, soup. Yeah, mm. or it's not taste or whatever. But yeah. it it actually is quite good food. But the thing is, when when the students have to, they have to queue. In, they have about often about like twenty minutes to stand in line, get the food, uh, eat it, and get out because it's a very narrow time frame. But the whole school has to pass through through, window, yeah. and, and and you also often have the long break afterwards so yeah. the kids want to go out and the noise level is often quite loud so there's a stress situation it's a stress situation and uh, and, and a lot of things that work against it i mean the school meals there have been a lot of work uh, improving school meals yeah and i think it, it's it's going very much the right way yeah and because the meal is important for yes. brain activity yes. and development. Yeah, yeah. And also, I mean, there are, I mean, you could use the school meals. It's, it's a very underused uh, resource, I think, in the schools. You can use it for several subjects. Yeah. You can study, well, 
have looking at uh, uh, waste talk about uh, um, ecological stuff yeah. i mean uh, how, how yeah. does well how much food is thrown away and what's it, why is yeah. that uh, and, and uh, well there's a lot of things you can uh, there's a lot of uh, teaching you can do with yeah. it, uh, regarding the school and, and in the hospitals it's often well, the focus there is the medication and the yeah. uh, treatment and so on and and there's sometimes a problem is that well if the patient has to go for a test or something just when the meal come they might not people might not think about that they actually missed a meal yeah because it's also often not nothing that is sort of written up it's uh, you check that they got their medication but you don't check that they actually got their food and ate it yeah yeah i saw one study where one of the a common reason to why patient left food was that they couldn't reach it <laughs> <laughs> staff came in put it down and then <laughs> and it's like it's out of reach yeah <laughs> that i mean it is it wasn't a swedish study no no but, but, but still on the other hand it, it shows the potential yeah. for improving yeah, it can yeah, be yeah. because because if, if you're simple yeah. and so sometimes it uh, i mean people sort of blame well they say well the recommendations doesn't work because look at the the uh, um, obesity epidemic yeah the recommendations are, are useless and the thing is it's only about i think they calculated that about 10 percent of the population actually eat according to, according the to recommendations <laughs> and uh, so how do we eat well we i eat. mean if only 10 percent of uh, of the population eats according to the guidelines. Yeah. How 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 do the rest eat? Well, uh, on average, we eat uh, way too. We about. I think we eat about half of the fruit and vegetables we should. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah I can I can relate to that probably. We, yeah. yeah, we eat a lot of. I mean, this utrymus mat. The, yeah. The sort yeah, of yeah, the fillers. The fillers, that makes up about up to about twenty percent or people eat and 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 this kind of fillers it's it it's uh, it's what you have space for when you have when you have covered your nutritional needs with vitamins and minerals and then, then there's a small space <laughs> for, for fillers. fillers yeah and uh, and refill it with yeah and the, and, and the thing is if you if if 20 percent of your energy comes from fill, fillers either you get too little nutrients yeah. vitamins and minerals or you gain weight. Yeah. 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 When you realize that what you do can actually make a difference. I mean, in my kind of research, we don't actually do any sort of like major breakthroughs or sort of no. like, wow, the wow <laughs> factor isn't that big. But it's, we sort of build on the yeah. uh, knowledge mountain. Yeah. So we, we sort of increase what we know about and and so small steps yeah. in the right direction. To increase health yeah. in the population. Yeah. Yeah. Which is what we're really aiming for. Mm. Uh, yeah, so all of us. Yes. Yes. And and having better lives. Exactly. So so it, it's inspiring in that way that you can actually do it make a difference. Yeah. In that case, I think I'll let that be our last word on the walk and talk. Mm -hmm. And I will, of course, make sure that there are contacts so people can find you and ask more questions. Yeah. Yeah. And I just want to say thank you for coming out for our walk and talk. Well, thank you for asking. It was very nice. It was. Yeah. Lucky with the weather. Bye. Bye. Bye.